Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy. In this video, we are going to be learning about the short PHP tags, basically what they are, how, can, how we can enable and disable them. And also we're gonna look at an example of how we can echo content out using the short tags and without using the echo statement. So the first thing really is to look at what these short tags look like. Now you may be used to seeing PHP tags written like this. However, you also may have seen them look like this. And you may have come across the fact that they may not have been enabled on the server that you're working on. So you may have used short tags, but they have, but nothing's worked inside. So for example, within short tags, we can do everything that we would normally be able to do to do with the standard tags. They're exactly the same thing. The only downside is that they may not work on some servers, uh, just depending on how the php.ini file is configured. Now I have the php.ini file open in my text editor, and you can see that the, there's this option here, short underscore open underscore tag is equal to on. Now if this was to off and I were to save the file and go ahead and restart my server, um, then the short open tag would not be enabled and therefore I wouldn't be able to use them. And then we wouldn't be able to utilize the benefit of what we're just about to look at. And I'm going to show you a really, uh, not a really good example, but a, an example of how we can use these and how we can use a slightly modified syntax to echo out variables and a much cleaner way of doing it as well, providing these tags are on. So assuming they are on, uh, we've already looked at the way that we can use them, but now in page.php, I've created a very, very basic markup document without the body. So I'll just go ahead and add that in now. Now we have a page title here. What we're going to be doing in this part of the tutorial is we're going to be up here creating a variable called title, which will represent the um, name of the page minus .php and it will have an uppercase for the first character. So whatever page we're on, for example, if it was tutorials.php or downloads.php or friends.php, that uh, the page name would always be an uppercase. For example, for friends, it would be an uppercase F. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll go ahead and start writing this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and open PHP tags and I'm gonna create a variable called title. Now the reason of showing you this, um, I'm going the long way around it, but what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be injecting this title into here, but in a more, in a cleaner way with better syntax. So this is really just a sort of treat of how to do this. So the first thing that we want to do is set title to uh, underscore underscore file. Now this represents the, uh, the current file that we're working with and the path to it. So if I open my browser now and head over to page.php, you'll see, um, oh, oh no, because we're not outputting it. So if we were to go ahead here and, oh no, let's do it here, echo title, um, you'll see that we've got uh, this. Here. So this is the path and the file that we're working with. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the uh, the base name function. So we're going to wrap the function here, base name, around this file. And what's going to happen now is we're going to get something like this, page.php. Perfect. So now what we want to do is get rid of this PHP extension. So we can pass an additional parameter to this base name function and that will, will remove this extension. So if we go ahead and look at this now, we've just got page. Now what, what can we do with page? Well, we wanna go ahead and use the UC first function to um, convert the first character to uppercase like that. So whatever this page name is, we've now got a representation of it here that we can use within a title. Now I want to inject that into here. So I could go PHP echo title. And this is fair enough, but we, uh, if we're doing this a lot down our page, for example, if we're working within HTML tables or we're working with lots of data within loops and we want to break out of HTML back into PHP, it's really annoying to have to go ahead and use echo every single time. Now, providing that we have the short tags enabled, we can go ahead and remove the PHP part here and we can remove the echo construct and we can actually stick an equals just in here, get rid of this uh, end of line terminator because we're obviously just wrapping this within these tags. We don't need the end of line terminator. Um, so there we go. And this is gonna do exactly the same thing. So what's gonna happen now, if you keep an eye on just up here, this will change to this value. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and just get rid of the echo there and refresh. So now we've got this page just here. 
Now, obviously this part of it is irrelevant, but this part makes a lot more sense to do uh, everything like this. Now, we don't just have to use variables here. We can use anything. We can use a return value from a function, for example. We could even use the ternary operator to determine what to output. So for example, um, traditionally, I mean, you could use the ternary operator here, but traditionally you might say if um, one is equal to one, echo, title that might be the way that you're used to doing it and that's perfectly acceptable it's a uh, an inline if statement essentially uh, and it has a block here and it echoes the title so in this case when, when I refresh we've got page here however when we have one equal to zero for example and I refresh uh, we've not got anything there well we've just got the, uh, the the browser default title that it sets it to so in this case, what we can actually do is we can go ahead and remove this, uh, which is unnecessary, and we can go ahead and we can create a ternary operation here. Now what this is doing is the condition is within here. So one is equal to uh, one. If one's equal to one, title, no need for echo. And then other, oh, sorry, we just need to stick an equals there. Now, otherwise we could just say something like error, for example. So now when I go ahead and refresh, we've got page. So that part of its work, the ternary operation here, uh, the, well, the uh, condition here, sorry, has returned true. So we're executing this part here, or outputting this part, and otherwise we're gonna output error. So if one is equal to zero, and I go ahead and refresh, we get error. So really this uh, has taken a lot longer than, than you know, normal to demonstrate just such a simple concept. But you know, it's important to include examples like this um, when you're learning about things like this and how they, how they might make sense. Now there is a drawback to using the short tags and it's the only one that I could think of. And that's if you are developing like this and using the short tags, perfectly acceptable. What happens if you go ahead and you transfer your entire project where this might be used, I don't know, a thousand times and you transfer it to a server where one, you may not be able to modify the php.ini file and two, well, that's it. Then, you know, the, the, the short hand, uh, the short open tag um, option might be set to off and you may not be able to change this. In this case, the shorthand tags would not work and therefore this line here uh, just wouldn't work. So that's something to bear in mind, but for such simplicity, if you know that you're gonna be uploading to a server that allows you to use the, the uh, PHP short open tags, then it's really worthwhile um, investing time in, you know, getting used to using this kind of syntax. It's a lot shorter, it's a lot sharper, and it could save you a lot of time, uh, particularly if you're embedding a lot of PHP within HTML.